Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Salon Perfect C2 Shimmering C, the American Sheen, and Wistonia American Freedom. I've started with Neltix Formula 2 and here is Color Club on the Rocks. It is just a beautiful silver chromey polish. I'm going to use it as my base underneath a gradient. I decided it insta you know, you all know I don't like playing with white polish so a lot of times I will use silver instead, so I thought I would break this one out and give it a run. So there we go. We've got one nice coat of that, and we're going to call it quits on the one coat because it's good. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Good job. So we're going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get this one to dry down so we can do our gradient. I like to start with a nice dry base because I don't want to pull my gradient up. I don't want it getting all splotchy looking. I will be using the IMK Protect Peel and this is C to Shimmering C and the American Sheen by Salon Perfect. I've got a dampened makeup sponge here and I'm going to do a, I guess, vertical gradient today. I don't do these very often and I don't know why. If any of you guys had any, you know, ideas of why I avoid this, I, you know, I would love to hear it. I don't know why I do because the, it looks really pretty. Just turn that gradient and I also want to do one on a diagonal. Hopefully I can work that into my repertoire. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start just dabbing this into or onto my nail and I am gonna just do I'm a reload and do each finger with a reload a fresh reload each time I normally don't do this normally I just work my way through all of them and add more polish when I think I need to add more but this time I'm just doing it a little differently and again I don't know why <laughs> I don't have a clue why I guess because there's just so many ways you can do this I, but, you know, for the first round, I thought I would reload it each time, and I think it works out pretty well. I do each nail individually, and then when I go back through them at the end, I just, then I start kind of dabbing over all the nails with one load. You know, I just load that sponge up and kind of hit a couple of nails at a time. I'm really liking this already. This is just right up my alley. Got that red and the blue and of course in the middle they meet and they make purple. And I know purple's not really a patriotic color but you know when you're doing gradients that's what you get. You're gonna get some kind of you know off color. And if it's gonna be off it might as well be purple, right? So I am dabbing and going crazy here. I have sped this up. This was gonna be a rather long video and I, you guys have seen me gradient a whole bunch, so you guys know what I'm up to with this. So I figured I would go ahead and show it. I would just speed it up a little bit. See, now I'm going through, and when I load it, I'm doing more than one nail. I'm just hitting them all. And these really did blend really well, and they just work so well for gradient. They were plenty opaque. There we go. So we're going to snatch this liquid latex off, if I can get a hold of it, ping, break that seal, and then pull it on off there. And guys, I really do make this look a lot harder than it really is, and I think it's because I'm a tweezer failure, you know, I don't do well with tweezers. And now I'm going to go in with my acetone and my cleanup brush and do some cleaning up because, you know, these glittery, shimmery polishes, you know, got in some places that I didn't have liquid latex. But it's okay. It goes by pretty quickly. Using that latex saves me a lot of extra cleanup. So, we're just going to finish it up here. I do like to make sure I do up under my nail because that drives me nuts if I get nail polish stuck up under there. We're almost there, I promise. There we go. Come on, get it. There we go. I am going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat again. I know, I do some layered manis, don't I? <laughs> Makes them nice and thick. Makes them last. 
I'm going to be using the American Freedom Plate from Westonia again because I love it. And I'll be stamping with color clubs on the rocks. I'll be using my AliExpress stamper and my Beauty Scraper. And I am just going to stamp out USA across some of my nails. And I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. Teasing you with that other manicure. So there's the U, and now we're going to do the US. The other manicure will be up, I promise. I just had to get through my 4th of July manicures. You guys know I record everything, and I share it all. <laughs> and now we're going to do this A. I love this plate. This is one of my, friend, one of my friends, Connie, sent me this one, and I love it. USA. So now I'm going to put fireworks on my pinky and my thumb. Just kind of round out this manicure. Got to have fireworks. Fourth of July fireworks. Are you kidding? The rednecks here have been shooting them off for weeks already. They're all excited. So we're going to top it with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls and seal this one in. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I really like this one. I think out of the ones I did this year, this is probably my favorite. And here you go. Got some live action there, some movie move. And I do have a swatch photo coming up. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.